Hi, my name is Neil Griffin, and on behalf of the Life Ray Faces team, which consists of me and Vernon Singleton, Kyle Steeman, Phil White, and Cody Hoag, I'd like to thank you for watching this screencast. Today I'd like to show you how to develop a new JSF portlet and to deploy it to Life Ray Portal 7. Here in my browser, I have Life Ray, I have the liferayfaces.org website running, and this is a, a site that's running Life Ray Portal 7. And over here on the right, you can see we have a portlet deployed. This is what we call the archetype portlet. And it has some selectors here on the left. And when I make selections, it will update this Maven archetype generate command on the right. It will also update these dependencies down here below. Now, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to go with the default settings. Uh, I, I'm going to choose Maven as my build framework. I could choose Gradle as well. This Maven archetype generate command will work for both uh, Maven and for Gradle because the resulting project not only has a palm.xml descriptor, but it's also got a Gradle build file in it. So I'm just going to copy this to the clipboard and paste it into my terminal here. And I'm going to go with the default settings for example, version 1.0 snapshot and the default package. And let's take a look at the file system. There's my project. And I'm just going to dive down into here and do a PWD and copy the full path to the project to my clipboard because I'd like to bring the project into Eclipse. This here is LifeRay Developer Studio. It's our prepackaged version of Eclipse that has the LifeRay IDE plugins in it. You could use your own version of Eclipse if you'd like. You just need to install the LifeRay IDE plugins. I have the Project Explorer and the Package Explorer here. I kind of like the Package Explorer a little bit better. I like the way it visualizes the project. So I'm going to left click in that panel and then right click on Import and click on Existing Maven Projects and Next. Then I'll paste my path, my project that I had copied my clipboard previously, and click Finish. And that's all I need to do to import this project into Eclipse. It's a very simple project. I'll just dive down into Source Main Web App, Web Int Views, and here's my default facelet view. It's kind of a, a Hello World type of view. And in order to get this portlet deployed to Liferay Portal 7, all I have to do is drag it down here to my LifeRay 7 server that I have defined in my servers panel. And then I should be able to go to the browser and click on Add Applications. And I should be able to find it under Sample. There it is. And reload the page. And when I do, you can see the portlet is rendered for me on the portal page. I could have selected um, Prime Faces, Ice Faces, Life Ray Faces Alloy, or Rich Faces, but I just went with the JSF standard components. Those are the components that come with JSF Runtime. Well, what if I wanted to use IntelliJ? Here we have IntelliJ. In order to import the project into IntelliJ, I would click on File, New, Module from Existing Sources, and then I'd select it from my path here, and then IntelliJ will bring up this import module dialog, and I just select my build system, which is Maven. And these are the settings that I like when I configure IntelliJ like this. It presents my Maven project um, hierarchically, very similar to how you would see it with a file manager. So I'll just click Next, 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 and Finish. And that's all I need to do in order to bring it into IntelliJ. I'll navigate down into Source Main Web App, Web Inf Views. And here's my default facelet view, my hello world. Well, how would I deploy this portlet? How would I build it and deploy it to LifeRay Portal? Well, for IntelliJ, I would type maven clean package at the command line. I could also type maven clean install. And in order to deploy the portlet, I'm going to copy from the target folder the war that was built. And I'll copy it to my LifeRay home slash deploy folder. But I recommend when you do this that you remove the version number and if you have a qualifier like dash snapshot on there that you remove it before you actually copy it there. And that will help with the OSGI symbolic name and version and so on. It's just a recommendation that I have uh, for your environment. Well, what if I wanted to use NetBeans? 
With NetBeans, I would click on File, New Project, and then click Maven and Project with Existing Palm. At that point, it will let me select my project from my file system. And that's it. That's how I get it into NetBeans. And I can navigate down into Web and Views, View.xhtml. Here's my facelet view again. And if I wanted to deploy this to Liferay Portal, again, I would go to my uh, I would go to my terminal and type in Maven Clean Package and then copy it. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this screencast, and we'll see you next time.